Okay, um, turning once again to um, DES here, the Data Encryption Standard, uh, not because it's terribly important, but in order to illustrate some uh, concepts here. Now, as I say, the Data Encryption Standard, 64-bit uh, block size, 56-bit uh, key with 8 parity bits, uh, 16 rounds of substitution, uh, referred to as S boxes, and transposition or permutation, uh, P boxes. And again, the, the combination at the bit level of uh, substitution and permutation uh, gives us uh, the, the Faisal ciphers. And uh, the, the thing is that these are these are parameters. Now these are the only parameters that are used in DES, but in, uh, other uh, uh, symmetric encryption algorithms, we have uh, other parameters that uh, <coughs> uh, a different number of rounds, a different uh, uh, block size, um, key lengths, uh, and, and so forth, which uh, can be varied. And, and sometimes uh, varying the parameters makes a very significant difference. I believe that uh, in the advanced encryption standard, um, seven rounds is, is uh, good, but eight rounds is better and, and much better, uh, much more than you would think of just you know, incrementing one more round. Um, so we have, uh, you know, uh, sometimes um, these these jumps, these parameters make a, a difference. And I'm going to go into a couple of uh, uh, stories here that um, at least give an indication of, of this type of concept. Uh, so, um, Des was, you know, the data encryption standard, but, you know, it was coming to the end of its life, and so people were thinking, what are we going to do? Now, they were already, you know, looking for uh, a new uh, standard, and, and, of course, the advanced encryption standard eventually became that, and on it will go forever. But um, they thought, well, you know, DES is, DES is good. Um, why don't we just do it twice? You know, double DES. And that means that, um, you know, it's, it's theoretically the same as having a 112-bit key. Um, because for every, um, uh, for every, well, you, you've got two rounds here. Um, you're going to have to try, you know, two to the 56 uh, rounds or, 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 you know, possibilities for address space. Um, and then for every one of those that you test, you have to test two to the 56 uh, to get the second key. Um, and, and so that gives you effectively, you know, you have to try that much and therefore it's the same as, as trying the entire address space for a 112-bit key. Except that that error is uh, an attack that somebody figured out called meet in the middle. And what this did was um, you, I mean, uh, encryption and decryption. And I think I mentioned that, you know, decryption is just another form of encryption. And, and we're going to come back to this later. Uh, so it's it's more like forward and reverse, and and so to get the first key, uh, you would do two hundred and uh, uh, sorry two to the fifty six. Uh, uh, some number of quintillion uh, uh, keys uh, that that key space um, to get the first key, and then you take the the end result they uh you always you know pretty much assume that they've got uh a plain text and the uh, uh encrypted text and so you take the in the encrypted text and you decrypt it with two to the 56 keys and 
somewhere you're going to have the same result matching from the one process and the other process and therefore the uh, you meet in the middle and when you find that then you found you know which are the two keys and therefore it's not 256 time you know 256 it's 256 and 256 operations that you have to go through and in other words it's an effective key length of 57 bits not the 112 that you thought you were getting so that's um that was the story of double des now uh so they try okay you know what what happens if we do it three times well um Okay, uh, if we're doing it three times, triple dis, um, the, uh, that works because you've got, uh, the three, uh, keys there and, and that effectively gives you, um, 100, actually 113, uh, bit key links uh, in terms of, the, the total times that you're processing. So, yeah, we have to use three keys um, instead of two, and uh, but we get, you know, we, we get what we, you know, roughly equivalent to what we originally thought we were going to do with double des. Uh, well, triple des, uh, first of all, they try to, you know, in, encrypt with three different keys, three times with three different keys. And then somebody realized, wait a minute, um, if we do encrypt and then decrypt with a different key and then encrypt again with a different key, um, we, uh, we get the same result because encryption and decryption are the same thing. And in addition, if you use EDE with one key in all three positions, you get backwards compatibility with the original DES. So, okay, you know, this is, you know, a, a good thing. Um, compatibility is, is always good. And then somebody realized, wait a minute, you know, if we take, uh, encrypt it with one key, and then encrypt it with a second key, and then encrypt it again with the first key, we've still got that, uh, you know, 112, 113-bit effective uh, strength. And uh, the amount of work that has to, the the work factor that has to go into breaking it. Okay, good. You know, now we're back to only needing two keys, which is good. And then somebody realized, okay, encrypt it with the first key, decrypt it with the second key, and encrypt it again with the first key. Now we've got two keys and backwards compatibility with uh, original DES. And that, you know, essentially, uh, except for a little extra processing involved, gives us essentially what we wanted with uh, double DES to begin with. And so, uh, triple DES EDE2 um, tended to become the uh, standard way of using triple DES. So.